Hello, today we are going to test KD Plasma 6 Beta 2 by running the Fedora Rawhide KD Spin ISO in a virtual machine in live CD mode. So I searched on Google Fedora Rawhide KD. I opened this URL. In here we have all of the spins that are officially released by Fedora. Development is going to be the next version of Fedora, the next release. And this is the spin for KD. There are spins for other desktop environments. Let's look a bit at uh, who creates this ISO, who packages KD uh, release packages for Fedora. This is the announcement for um, KD6 Mega Release Beta 2. For uh, Plasma, this is the three pages. Let's look at the package KWIN, which is the window manager and Wayland Compositor it says kwin minus 5.91.0, 74 megabytes and SHA 256 SUM 1E9. Let's look for the source of the package kwin in Fedora. We have uh, this uh, packages.fedora.org slash packages slash kwin. From here I selected KWIN and I'm selecting the newest possible version which in here is noted Fedora 40. It's actually Rawhide until Fedora 40 is being released. It says that the latest version is KWIN minus 5.91.0 minus 2.Fedora Core 40. Let's look inside of this thing. Okay, so it says that um, there's a src.rpm and this um, contains a file named kwin-5.91.0.r.xz which is the exact same name as in the release announcement. So the same name. It's the same extension tar.xz, the same size 7.4 megabytes and the same SHA-256 sum. So Fedora takes the source releases that um, the KD community creates. So this is a beta 2 source release. So these are source release uh, tarballs. Fedora takes these, edits the, there's a version control repository where they have um, links towards these um, tarballs. There's also a spec file and together they are being used in order to create the binary.rpm file for kwin. Okay. The team behind the packaging KD software for Fedora is the Fedora KD team. There's a special interest group for KD. Fedora KD Special Interest Group. There's weekly meetings. There's a metrics uh, channel. The metrics channel looks like this. So 
they take care of packaging and if they have questions they ask in the KD community how should we build this package, what are the dependencies of this package, what does this package replace in, Fedora, in KD6, maybe there's new packages compared to KD5. Okay, so let's go back to the ISO file and uh, download it. So this is the file. The name of the file will always differ because it contains the today's date in the file name. Okay, we'll wait a bit until the, fin the download finishes. So 2.4 gigabytes, which is half of a DVD. The Fedora KD spin of Fedora Rawhide has finished downloading. Let's create a virtual machine. File, new virtual machine, local, browse, Rawhide, today's date. It recognizes it as Fedora Rawhide. Fedora Rawhide is OK as the name. So the only thing that usually needs to be changed is this thing. To have just one CPU socket, the rest are OK. Begin installation. So it will test the ISO and then boot in a live CD mode. Testing if the ISO is uh, OK is really fast. Takes less than 10 seconds. It boots straight into graphical user interface mode. And logs in automatically as a Linux user. OK, so this is the out of the box experience. This is how KDE Plasma 6 Beta 2 looks like if you're running it in live CD mode from the Fedora Rawhide KD Spin ISO. This is a test bed where you can see if your issues have been fixed, find the new issues, see if uh, your virtualization software is supported. So it's a very, very valid way of actually testing KD Plasma 6 Beta 2. It's not running on real hardware, it's running in a virtual machine. It's not installed, it's running in live CD mode, but still is a very valuable way of running KD Plasma 6 Beta 2 for um, testing, for manual testing. And uh, in general, as we are nearing the release date, which should be one month from now, this is the simplest way of us making sure that the latest source tar tarball releases from the KD community are in a good shape. We're not running source code for straight from the KD Git repositories, we're running from those um, source code release tarballs. So there's, there are many bug fixes in KD Git repositories that are not present in this um, ISO. 
this is the welcome center first run wizard this is the KD plasma panel now it's floating when you open a window and you maximize it then the panel stops being floating you can maximize just uh, vertically not horizontally by middle clicking the maximize button like this so i'm using the third button mouse button the scroll bu button okay the iro snap like feature where if you drag a window to the left edge it will use half of the screen water tiling works okay if you move the title bar towards the bot uh, the top edge it maximizes okay what else can we test everything there are some things that cannot be done in live cd mode but almost everything can be done in live cd mode 98 percent of the things that you could do can be done in here including it installing software let's see if we're uh, using Wayland or not we are so we're using Wayland by default another valid test virtual machine plus the latest starball releases from the KDE community plus Wayland and um, not hardware accelerated 3d rendering but software rendering using llvm pipe okay let's do the things that i usually do screen edges right click no action outer 15 percent apply fonts what do i do in here sub pixel rendering this thing and as much as possible make the mouse cursor bigger clean the search that's about everything that I usually configure let's see if Firefox if this thing works it does All of the things that you usually do after you install a Linux operating system you usually can also do by booting the ISO installer and running it in live CD mode this way the storage that you have inside your computer or your laptop stays unchanged Okay, and three more settings.
where is the setting where it asks each time when it downloads this thing. Okay. Let's start in private window mode. Yes, it does. Let's try to install some software, see if it works. Let's go with Crusader. This guy. In here it's missing the um, donate URL. So it has documentation, which goes to the correct place. Goes to the website crusader.org. This thing should be able to generate a QR code. No, it cannot. Why not? No, this is a bug. Should be fixed by somebody. And in here there should be another button like report bugs or donate shun. Okay. Install from Fedora Linux. What are the other options? There's no other options. So this installs from Fedora Rawhide RPMs. The other options would be to use the Flatpak backend for Discover the KD App Store and install from there. Let's see if launch works. First run wizard. The theme does not look okay. The buttons are too close to the to this um, horizontal line. What else do I change in here? Let's see if uh, Kate is installed. Should not be. Yep. Because Fedora installs by default K right, not um, Kate. This guy. Okay. So let's undo what Fedora did, which is um, uninstall kwrite. And there's also the option Fedora Flatpaks. So this is probably not Flathub, but Fedora remote for flatpacks, flat or who knows? We'll see. So let's uh, uninstall the text editor key right. Seem to have worked. Let's see that it has disappeared from the start menu. So all applications, the letter K, the last app there, it disappeared. Okay, great. Eight. Enter this button. What does that button do? It installed from Fedora Linux, hopefully. Launch and it starts OK. Now we can go back to Crusader and edit.
So settings, configure crusader, general viewer editor slash usr slash bin slash gate. The auto completion is at the wrong spot. So the combo box has opened in the wrong spot, which this is probably a valent bug. That's the way it smells like. Let's hide the things that we do not need. All toolbars, FN, status bar, and show embedded terminal. The console is not installed by default. That's what it claims. How could that be? lost the settings because there were two instances of the process crusader hopefully that was it yep this um, url is wrong should be apps.k.org slash console so another issue that should be fixed by somebody. Okay, so for some reason, it cannot show the embedded terminal. Let's see if Kate can do it. Let's create a file in here. Seven work. If that for a.txt. View show terminal. It works inside of Kate, but does not work inside of Crusader. Roger. Okay. So you just test as you normally would, as if you installed the Linux operating system on your hardware or your inside of a virtual machine. But then it's a bit faster because you only need to boot the ISO, not wait for half an hour to install the Linux operating system to your virtual machine or to your hardware. And then you do not have to do any customization post installation. And then it's also easy to report bugs. You will say, I have this ISO, I have just booted it in live CD mode. Here is the issue. Even if the ISO has um, old source code like this one, so this um, ISO does not carry the latest source code from the KDGit repository, it's uh, a couple of weeks old at least the KDE developers will be able to easily reproduce the issue. You just say, I've downloaded this ISO with full URL to it. And then you say, i am just booted it into using a Word Manager, QMU. And that's it. I then clicked on two buttons and here's the issue, right? So for Crusader, click. Search for Crusader, and then from the Crusader's main menu, settings, show embedded terminal, and this is the error that I get. So very easy to create reproducible bug reports for KD software. Again, with the caveat that, that you're not running the latest and greatest source code from Git, but this is several days old. The theming looks out of place in Crusader because um, 
parts of the application is frameless and parts is uh, 3D very frameful. <laughs> like um, this custom control that not, does not respect the theming has um, these 3D bevels around it and also this custom status bar or what is this thing is also 3D and there's no horizontal line between the the tab bar and the chrome so the content that's inside of the tab Let's put the tabs above. How do we do that? Tab bar position top. Okay, we can start applications including from the App Store Discover. And we go launch and in here it's missing the oh. so this is a tab but then at the right of the tab there should be a bit of a line to signify that this is actually a tab Whereas this thing just ends abruptly at the buttons. Okay, maybe, maybe it's okay and it just looks uh, bad to me. Okay, then you can also uninstall software from directly from the KD start menu. Let's go to games, uninstall K-Mimes by right -click, clicking on it and going uninstall or manage and add-ons. Remove. Let's install it from Fedora Flatpaks. Let's see what that is. How do we see the progress in depth? That's it. It doesn't say that this installs three flat pack runtimes and four extensions and etc. Thirty three megabytes. Megabytes per second. How can it be installing with the speed of download? Aborted due to failure. AD5 platform. Mean free space 500 would be exceeded. At least 2 megabytes requested. So because we're running in live CD mode, uh, the space that's read-write and available to the virtual to the um, operating system is limited, and some things will not work. Maybe this is one of them. Let's actually look. Let's see. How do we find out how much free space do we have? Available 
1.5 gigabytes in slash which is a dev mapper dm which is a loop 2 okay. so some things you cannot do because there is um, space available on slash there is uh, read write space available but not enough for all possible actions and it seems that installing the simplest KD flat pack requires more space than I have not a problem we can test some other thing let's see if kcalc is available here Okay, let's look, go through the main menu of kcalc. Let's see if we have a product manual available. And we do. Let's see if this thing works. It does, but again with um, this bevel, which is 3D. Next up. Why doesn't this thing close when I open the main menu again? Report bug. So it says Fedora Linux 40, so Rawhide, which is the Linux 40, will be the next release of Fedora Linux. Let's click on launch the bug report and nothing happens. So basic what happens here is that uh, probably launch bug report wizard should open a web browser which it does not do so we'll have to run uh, this application from the command line and see exactly why it refuses to open firefox okay so I'm trying to find out the command line that we need to use in order to run kcalc such that it will show eventual errors like it, the fact that kcalc cannot start the web browser. For that I'm searching on Google KD Wiki QC debug. Takes me here and in here immediately I can see that uh, the font for monospaced text in uh, Firefox is wrong because it's serif, which it should not be. Maybe not enough uh, not of fonts are installed. Okay, what we're after is probably this one. Let's see if this works. Okay, so help report bug launch bug report and it doesn't log anything what about the donate button this works this opens the web browser as it should Okay, another issue, no application in um, Wayland should show the Wayland icon if it doesn't show the xorg x11 server icon when running under x11. So you need to see that Mozilla Firefox by default shows the wrong icon. let's see if we close yes yeah, so it shows the wrong icon 
what you should do is you should uh, log out of uh, the KD Plasma Wayland session and log from the SDDM desktop manager into the other KD Plasma 6 session, which is KD Plasma 6 uh, X11. And in there, if it has the correct icon for Mozilla Firefox, not the generic X11 icon, then this is a KD plus Wayland plus Firefox issue. Other applications do have the correct icon in the title bar, such as KCalc or Kate or um, Console. Whereas Firefox does not have. Let's play a game. Games Mahjong. What can we do here? Force. Please. Okay, let's go through the menus. K Mahjong Handbook opens the correct product manual. Let's press the next button. Documentation not found. This is a bug. Somebody should fix this issue. This is a bug. Somebody should fix this issue. The fact that back works is a bug, should be fixed. So if you navigate inside of a product manual using the help centers three view tool window, this thing, then it works. But if you start from the home page, from the product manual Kmajong handbook, and go next, sometimes it doesn't go to the correct place. So you need to preheat it somehow. Just pressing next will not work, but if we expand on the left hand tool window, then it will work. Let's do that. Games, board games, Kima Jong, and now we go next. And now it works. And back. Back does not work correctly. If I go from interface overview to menu items and I go back, it jumps erratically to some strange location. Instead of going from here to here, it jumped from here to here. The same thing can be reproduced for the product manual for help center. So inside help center main menu, help, and then help center handbook, and then next. Let's change the layout. So some layouts are blank. Sometimes. So columns is black, but now it's not black, whatever, blank. And now eagle is blank. And now eagle is not blank. And now columns is black, blank some issue there. Let's install the Qt framework graphical user interface application inspector application which is 
Okay, dub gamma ray. Install. Launch. We can inspect. Discover or not? Why does it? Uh, so Gamma Ray is built using Qt five. Crusader is built using Qt five, and uh, the rest of the applications that we looked at are built using Qt six. At least Gamma Ray should be built with Qt5 or, uh, or both with Qt5 and Qt6 or just with Qt6. This um, definitely limits the utility of um, Gamma Ray. Let's change the resolution. See if we can increase it. can go 1080p keep and then full screen in word manager okay let's see if gamma ray for q5 works Where are the buttons widgets 25% inspector, click there, I would have expected Gamma Ray for Qt6 to be available if so many Qt6 KD applications are available. Let's see some more apps. Color Paint, the MS Paint app for Linux. Where are you? Z. Where's the pencil? This guy. Bucket feel. Why did it not feel from here? Okay, I understand. I do not understand what it's doing. Handbook. Missing icons. Oh, it opens the web pages inside of Help Center instead of opening the external web browser application. That's a problem because maybe I have my user accounts available inside of um, Mozilla Firefox, for instance, for bugs.kd.org, but I do not have them inside of the Help Center. And maybe the rendering is not going to be great inside Health Center. So all external URLs or URLs with protocol HTTP or HTTPS should not open inside Health Center, but outside using the web browser. How do we go back? We can't. There's no history. Next, from the color paint main menu, colors use color paint defaults. Where am I? Control Z. So these are the colors, probably. 
colors use KDs and then here's a very small hidden submenu of just one pixel. So at least in this case, color paint paint menu colors use KDs does not work. Save color palette as. Okay, so we're in color paint. New. Let's see what this um, element in the menu does. So color paint main menu, new, acquire screenshot. Two seconds delay. Hey, hide main window. Okay. Let's edit something in here. And it cannot uh, acquire screenshots in Wayland because it's not Wayland aware, I'm going to guess, color paint. Okay. Text dances when I select inside console. Look at this dance, dance, dance. So on the all selected lines are six pixels wider from the start of the selection and then six pixels wider at the end of the selection. From the start menu, everything has a sub menu, so favorites, all applications, development, etc. Utilities, but then help does not have a sub menu. Help does have a tooltip, though. The others do not have a tooltip. Help does not have a sub menu, and it actually opens an application. So this is an application help, the rest are just submenus and this is a problem because it should have uh, there should be a right words pointing arrow in here for the elements that are submenus and this should not have that So all elements that have some menus in the main menu of Kate have this greater than sign such that we know that it has a sub menu. And then help center opens with a blank content. Should by default navigate to something. I'm not sure what to. To the welcome to KD Plasma page or to welcome to the help center page or to here in at least this also looks like a bug the fact that this k is not centered correctly so most of the elements such as kd such as plasma manual have a header with um, the K icon having a bit of spacing. Fundamentals is the same thing, but then application manuals shows a different type of heading. One which is less polished. Application manuals and its children, its immediate children and system settings modules and K info center modules and KIO workers. Okay, what does the fact that you need to double click to collapse is 
an issue. Missing icon. Something's wrong in the footer of the page. The next button should be in at the top right corner. Where are you? Like this, it jumped to browse info pages when I double clicked on KD Help System Handbook. Now it jumped at browse info pages. It likes to jump out, and now it has the correct header. So it's something related to. Cold start versus warm start. If I click outside the help center, help center re becomes focused. In the system tray. All icons are monochromatic except one which is colored. Wayland to X11 video bridge. What can we do? Quit? That's the only possible action to quit. Manually block sleep and screen locking power. Notifications do not disturb for hours. And it goes to the correct place in the system settings application. So these were just some ideas of how you can manually test. You should do the things that you usually do. You should test new applications that you haven't used before. And uh, help us uh, release KD Plasma 6 with uh, the KD Framework 6, with KD Gear, uh, 